What is up, folks? I just got word that Metallica released a new single. And honestly, I had no idea they were going to do that. No clue. Uh, didn't know they were working on anything. Didn't know anything like that was happening. But here we go. A new single from Metallica. And I will say, it's been a long time since I gave a shit about Metallica. The uh, hardwired to self-destruct album didn't really hit me right. Death Magnetic, I actually liked. But then as time went on, I realized that they were trying too hard a little bit. So this, it's been a while, been a while since I've cared about Metallica. Uh, I kind of, what they've done recently makes me yearn for more load and reload. Honestly, I really think that that stuff is, uh, a little bit underrated at this point. I'd like to hear like a mix mash sort of, of, of both of those things, to be honest. So if they would give us something, you know, like a mix between thrash and load, that'd be fun. But I don't, I don't know what to expect here from Metallica. A new single, I assume that means an album's coming, but maybe not. In the, in the age of streaming, it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, but I'm going to shut up and play the song after I say that I, I think most of the thrash bands from their era have done better stuff. Megadeth's new album is better than anything Metallica's done in a long time. Uh, Municipal Waste, there's just a lot of bands. Uh, Death Western, the new album from Spirit World. There's a lot of stuff that's just so much better to me than anything Metallica's done in a long time. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to cue up this Metallica song and hope for the best. It's called Lux Eterna. Kind of looks like uh, Anima from Tool. They've got that whole spelling thing going on. A little strange. Well, yeah, not sure what that's all about, but uh, let's go. Huh. That's 80s sounding. 80s Metallica. I had to pause it there for a minute because I just have to say that this is the most reminiscent of 80s Metallica that I've heard Metallica be since the 80s. So far, so good. Just saying. Classic Kirk. I'm digging it. Yeah. 
No has. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to get one? Yeah. It's a good riff. We got a yeah, yeah instead of a yeah. yeah. Um, okay, that's a triumph. That's, that's an absolute triumph from them. All right. That was good. That's the best Metallica song I've heard in a really long fucking time. Like, hands down, bar none. That was good. I'm excited now. I haven't been excited about Metallica forever, but I'm excited. No hehe's, no ooh, ooh, yeah. None of that. And the way he, James, extended the Max Eterna, like that whole extension there. Very 80s Metallica. Guitar, very 80s Metallica. All we were missing was the St. Anger snare, and it would be perfect. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm officially pumped. That was, that was fantastic from them. Uh, wow. Maybe they're coming from Higadeth. Megadeth said they were coming for some bands and it's, it's fun that Metallica responds before the end of the year. Maybe it's not a response, but it's fun that they gave us something, uh, before the end of the year music wise, because we had a pretty big year in metal albums for 2022, pretty solid year. Uh, maybe Metallica will add to that before it's all said and done. I give that song a five out of five. That was the best Metallica song I've heard in some time. I'll see you guys next time.